Okay, morning folks. So welcome to the briefing on Friday the 16th. Finally, I've been waiting for this high pressure to arrive. Um, it's just been sort of painful, really. It slowly crept in um, of the Azores and got rid of the, uh, the sort of damp, moist frontal air that's, that's sort of rotated around it. So it's drying out fairly quickly. Pressure's rising quite nicely. Uh, we're in a northeasterly flow, as you can see, around the uh, high, but the isobars are fairly well spaced apart. So the wind's not going to be uh, strong and it stabilizes itself over the next um, couple of days. Fingers crossed we'll still get something out of uh, these sort of weather systems. Uh, temperatures are picking up during the weekend. They're forecasting 30 degrees for Sunday pretty warm. Um, TAFs today, simple, straightforward. Uh, 0 to 7 knots all day pretty much and eventually few at 4,000 feet. That's the Farnborough one. Gatwick's probably fairly sim similar. I think actually Gatwick is probably going to be blue down there. Uh, cumulus in the sort of centre of the country. Uh, and upper winds um, not strong, 10 knots, um, north, northeast, I would say, uh, most of the day, perhaps a little bit more easterly down in the channel, down by the coast, uh, but not much. Sat pick shows a um, little bit of North Sea fog really drifting off the, uh, into the sort of far southeast and Norfolk area. That'll burn back. Dew points there, a little bit higher than the rest of the country, um, as you would expect under this, but it will soon burn away. Um, there's no um, upper cloud on the infrared sat pick, so quite clear. Temperatures are going up really, really quickly. I think we're going to see 27 degrees today, probably around here, down on the coast. I'm, I'm using 26 uh, in this area here uh, for all my calculations. Dew points anywhere between sort of 11 and 13 at the moment in that area. I think they're going to go down to about 10, maybe even a bit lower, um, go down to eight and the cloud base really does get quite high. Um, so plugging those numbers in, um, looking at the sounding, first of all, this is around here or to the south of us. I think we're going to have uh, blue for a little bit. It'll take a while to get going. Um, that's sort of 22 degrees by sort of 12 o'clock, three and a half thousand feet, possibly blue. I think what you're going to see is possibly some cumulus to start off with, um, with the sort of moisture burning off. And then it goes blue for a bit and then we will get cumulus a little bit later um, because the lines start to come back together a little bit later, as you can see there. And... 26 degrees in there with small amounts of cumulus uh, over four and a half thousand feet, probably 5,000 feet uh, today. Looking further north, um, Bista Buckingham area, the, the, the lines are closer together, so definitely get cumulus up there. And again, by one o'clock, three and a half to 4,000 feet. And then by sort of three, four o'clock, it should be up around 5,000 feet. Um, fingers crossed, that's if all the, the sort of predictions go as planned, which hasn't really worked in the last couple of days. It's always been something that's thrown a spanner in the works. Um, the actual Lark Hill sounding, uh, just to have a, a quick look, there's no really strong inversion to break. So once we get to about 17, 18 degrees, we should get some reasonable mixing uh, and it gets soarable. I think you probably require about 20 degrees um, to get any reasonable height, two and a half to 3,000 feet. Small bits of an inversion, but there, it's, it's a reasonable amount of moisture in the sort of three to 5,000 foot range. So we will get cumulus at some point during the day. Top Meteo and the BBC seem to be um, agreeing with each other um, unusually. So if you saw the BBC forecast, um, 
today you sh sort of hear them talking about um, you know, isolated cumulus and uh, you know, bits of cumulus around. So I think we're going to get sort of reasonable thermal mixing, hopefully beyond 11 o'clock towards 12 o'clock. I suspect it's going to be somewhere around there before we can start launching the grid sensibly. And there's 3,000 feet and that's at 12 o'clock. And then at two o'clock, we're talking about 14, 1,500 meters around us, better further north up towards Husboz, four and a half thousand feet, 1,500 meters there. And by mid to late afternoon, round here, 15, 1,600 meters, and all the same, 16, maybe even 1,700 meters up round that area between Oxford and Husboz area. And that's really where the cumulus looks like it's going to sit and the BBC was showing the same sort of thing. So isolated queue um, by late morning lunchtime. And then as the day goes on, you start to see more cumulus. I think we're going to see some queue here, um, but definitely better in a lineup um, from the south coast up to Oxford, Husbos area. And that seems to be where Top Meteo suggesting the best cross country distance is. I would say that's in line with uh, all the other forecasts I've seen. So that's what they're predicting today, folks. Should be uh, good for 500k. With a bit of luck if we can get going by 12 o'clock. So yeah, should be quite a nice day. And tomorrow, similar sort of picture, if not better. Sunday, similar, um, again, hot. Uh, so I suspect on Sunday, it might take a quite a while to break the inversion and get going. Right, operationally we're on 09, so hopefully they've set the grid up, um, a sort of standard runway operation and the grid on the north side. Um, airspace wise, a couple of interesting things today, just if anybody suddenly decides to go down to the south coast, Goodwood, or near, near Goodwood anyway, Chichester, um, they've got low level dropping of articles, don't know what that is, but it's up to 1500 feet, and it's uh, 3.30 to 4.30. Keeble temporary danger area, it's Friday, so it's open from 10 till two, and the army then go away for uh, a long weekend, so it's closed after that. Again, if anybody manages to go in that area and get a crossing service, please let me know. Um, I'll cover these couple of things here and then go back to Silverstone. Um, this is Sywell again, so 16th. We've got from 11 to 11.20, 1 to 1.20, and 3 to 3.20. So various times they've got air display or air, aerobatics there. Just give them a call, find out what they're up to. And there's a fly past um, near St. Neots at 14.30 to 15.30, up to 2,000 feet. So. Fingers crossed, if anybody's in that area, it shouldn't really be an issue. Silverstone. We'll look at the bit right in the middle here. They've got a parachute display, uh, and you can see it's scheduled for run on the 16th and then the 18th. So the 16th, it's 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock. Um, parachuting, that's up to 6,400 feet. So notified just to avoid that area during that time. And then you've got the temporary danger area, up to two and a half thousand feet. Now I'll look at this on the um, actual MOVE AIC. So here's the timings on it. Um, 10 o'clock to basically eight o'clock in the evening, nine o'clock in the evening on the 16th of July. And this gives the dimensions and then, this is what it looks like, folks. Um, plotted out on the map. Uh, you've got basically a 
surfaces are in a half thousand feet extended almost like an ATZ at uh, uh, Tur Western and then a larger area around the Silverstone Grand Prix. So all day today, basically tomorrow and Sunday. So please avoid that area. Um, and that's about it. No jet movements today, Jordan? No. no I haven't looked at my emails, but no, nothing. No, nothing. Um, so quiet on that front. Uh, when we can get the grid launch, we will. And if you're a part of Club Flying, please head towards the hangar. And we'll see you out there.